<laughs> Praise the Lord. We're at the knockout here, a.k.a. Brother Abel Jr. Brothers and sisters, we turn our Bibles to Luke chapter 22, and we'll be looking at verses 50 to 53. And it reads, And one of them smote the servant of the high priest and cut off his right ear. And Jesus answered and said, Suffer ye thus far? And he touched his ear and healed him. Then Jesus said unto the chief priest and the captains of the temple and the elders which were come to him, Be ye come out as against a thief with swords and staves? When I was daily with you in the temple, ye stretched forth no hands against me. But this is your hour and the power of darkness. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading, to the hearing, to the admission, to the application, to the distribution of this great word taken from the greatest book that man could ever possess. <laughs> And that's the word of God. And we serve a good God. <laughs> Praise the Lord. And his name is Jesus. <laughs> In John chapter 18, where he records this event where the people are going to come to arrest our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. John describes the people that come to arrest him as Judas. A band of men, officers, the chief priest, and the Pharisees. Judas represents the unbelievers. Because that Judas, you know, he, he, he walked under the ministry of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and saw the miracles and heard the, the teachings of him, and he just didn't believe it. The, the band of men and the officers... They represent the world system. You see, the world system can't stand Jesus. They, 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 don't, they don't want to have nothing to do with Jesus. And then the, 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 the chief priest and the Pharisees, they represent religion. They too hate Jesus. And when it comes to religion, what they do is they prop up a, a, a pseudo anti Jesus, a, a pseudo anti Jesus that can't save, that, that, that don't do nothing, that, that, that under that Jesus, he could save you, but you could lose your salvation. He, he, he doesn't forgive you of all your sins. You, you, you know, that, that, that's religion that, that, that hates Jesus and, and the world that hates Jesus and, and, and the unbeliever is, is, is going now with. The, the, you know, the, 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 the world and make alliance with the world and make an alliance with religion and then going after J Jesus. And so w w w in, in, um, in Matthew's account in, in uh, Matthew chapter 26, Mark's account in Mark chapter 14 and in um, Luke's account, Luke chapter 22 and in John's account, Luke 18, they record when the, these forces, if you will, religion, uh, the, the world, and an unbeliever comes after Jesus. And so what happens, we, we see that in, in, in Matthew's account, in Matthew chapter 26, and in uh, Mark's account, Mark chapter 14, and in John's account, in John chapter 18, the, the the when when the when when they come after our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, uh, the the world, religion, and the unbeliever, they say that the the, the unbeliever, being the, the unbeliever that he is, Judas comes and he and he and he kisses Jesus, and 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 then Jesus then turns to this unbeliever, and mind you, Jesus loves this unbeliever, and he and he says to him. You betray me with a kiss. You see, you, you could you could just go through the motion, but 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 Jesus knows your heart, knows knows the heart of man, believer or unbeliever. And then and then what happens? Uh, th then the, the the world, the 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 officers, the the the, the band of men, they come to arrest our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, and in. Matthew's account, Matthew chapter 26, in Mark's account, Mark chapter 14, and in John's account, John chapter 18, 
the, the, they, they come to arrest Jesus or lay his hand on him. But one of the, 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 uh, the Jesus' disciples, and in John's account, he's identified as Peter. He takes out his sword and, and, and he cuts the ear off of, 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 of the, if you will, the world that's coming after him. So, 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 so the believer, the Peter, is, is going and, and fighting the world by, by the world's standpoints, by the world's um, circumstance, by the, by, the, by the way of the world. But our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, he, 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 he gave Peter a, a, a gentle rebuke. He says that, you know, put away that. You don't, you don't need to go through that. Uh, I, 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 I could call uh, legions of angels to come rescue me, but I'm not going to do that because 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 the scriptures need to be fulfilled. That that Jesus is telling this 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 over anxious uh, zealous believer, and you don't need to go through the world's way to, to 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 take care of the world that's coming after me. No, you don't have to do that. Because I could call angels, legions of angels to come rescue me. And the reason why I'm foregoing the angels to come rescue me, because when all said and done, the angels, these angels are going to come for you. <laughs> and, and, and then when, 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 he, when he cuts his ear, uh, because he cut his ear off, we see our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ recorded in Luke's account, because Luke is a physician and, he, and a, a, a scientist. He would have known that. He said, Jesus healed that that injured um, uh, 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 um, officer that went to arrest him. And, 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 and what, what was Jesus doing then? You see, if Jesus would have just left that alone and, 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 and had an injured or uh, 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 a cut off ear, then they could have went to the world. And say, oh, look at that! Oh, what happens in Jesus' ministry? They, 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 they fight and they cut people off and things like that. And then religion would have just said, oh, and, and this is what's going to happen. This is this is when you in this, you know, Jesus is going to, it's going to hurt you. And is that no? But Jesus healed them. He healed so that the world could not accuse him, so that religion could not accuse him. And isn't it interesting that when, 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 when it all said and done, the world is not going to speak about the miracles of Jesus because it's counterproductive. And religion is not going to speak about the, 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 the miracles of our Lord and Savior Jesus because it's counterproductive. But they had nothing that they could they could accuse our Lord and Savior Jesus of, and 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 then our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ turned to those who came after him, the 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 unbelievers, the the the, the world and religion, and he said this, <laughs> you know, I've been with you daily. I've been going to the temple preaching the gospel of the kingdom. I've been preaching daily and y'all didn't do nothing. And now you come with me with your worldly uh, uh, weapons and, 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 and all this time, you know, you didn't do nothing. But, and, and, and it's recorded in Mark chapter 14. But then Luke takes it a step further in, in, in what Jesus said. He said something so powerful. He said in Luke chapter 22, he says this, you know, but now is your hour. Now is your hour, the power of darkness. And, and what, so, so Jesus, you know, Jesus allowed the, 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 the power of darkness, the world, religion, and even, even those who, who, who put their faith in the world and the religion to have their way for that moment. Because Jesus had said in John chapter 10, he says, Doth now my father loves me. There's something about when you know that God loves you, that you have this confidence, you have this assurance. And I go, Lord, and say, when he said, Doth now my father love me. And behold, I, I lay my life down that I may take it again. And, and, and watch this. He says, no man has the power to take my life. I lay it down. I have
have the power to lay it down. I have the power to take it again. And thus, I receive the commandments of my Lord, of, of my God. This is what our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ said to these, these people that are coming, these, these forces that are coming again, the world. The world system, this uh, uh, religion that's anti-gospel, anti-grace, anti-Jesus Christ. He said that to them. And, and, and just giving a lesson to, 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 the, the, to those 11 disciples, 11 believers that were there. When, 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 when your, your strength does not come from you trying to fight the world. Your strength comes in trusting our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. <laughs> so you you don't have to you go go uh, do like what Peter did and, and and fight the world and oh your 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 strength doesn't come from you fighting the world. Your strength comes from trusting our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And 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 and, 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 and you know this is the year 2020 2020 believing the perfect vision Jehoshaphat who in 2 Chronicles chapter 20, he was facing where the world was coming after him, where, where all these oppositions were coming after him, and, and he didn't know what to do. So what did he do? He prayed to Jehovah God, and then Jehovah God gave an answer by a way of a prophet that was preaching the gospel of grace, and where he says, this battle is not yours. This battle is the Lord. This battle is Jehovah God. This battle is your Abba Father. And when that ministered to the king of Judah, he turned to his people. <laughs> and he said, 2 Chronicles chapter 20, verse 20, Believe the Lord your God and be established. Believe the Lord's prophet. Those who are preaching the gospel of grace, they're not preaching that religion that was coming against Jesus Christ. They're preaching the gospel of grace. Believe in our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and you're saved. And once you're saved, you're always saved. Believe when all your sins are forgiven, past, present, future, and that God loves you. Hey, hello. God loves you. Hmm. Because Jesus said, therefore doth I know my Father loved me. And if God, if, if, if God loves our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, then he loves you. Now the Bible says, as Jesus is, so am I in this world. And watch this. Believe the Lord's prophets. And what will happen when you trust God, where you get your strength, not trusting in yourself, not trusting in the world, not trusting in some... Uh, Oh, some man-made religion, but you trust in our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And what happens? You. <laughs> you will prosper. Praise the Lord. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord's face shine upon you. May the Lord lift up his countenance to you. May the Lord give you his peace. And I command you all to God and to the word of his grace, which is able to build you up in inheritance. To those who are sanctified in the precious name of his Son, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, amen. And now to him that is able to keep you from falling and present you faultless in the presence of his glory, both glory, majesty, dominion, power, both now and forevermore. Praise the Lord, amen, brothers and sisters. 2020 believing is the perfect vision. And remember... Just like when the world and, 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 and religion, were come, and, and even those who believe in, in that, when they were coming against him, Jesus trusted, he, 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 didn't, he, he didn't trust in fighting them at, at their level. He trusted in Jehovah God. He trusted in Abba Father. And we do the same thing. When we trust in the Lord, even in the midst of a trial, we will be strengthened. We will be encouraged. We will be empowered. Don't do, try to do it on your own. The strength doesn't come from the trials. The strength doesn't come from you trying to fight the trials. The strength comes from trusting our Lord, our Savior, and soon coming King Jesus Christ. <laughs> Amen. God bless you. <laughs> Agape love, I gotta cut the, the two logs. <laughs>